Hi there. This is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Land Party. The view from up here is quite pretty. I'm at the ice farm in my backyard. And I didn't really, I, I've been out over that way a little bit, but I haven't really gone down and explored much of this. I haven't really looked at the view much. And it dawned on me that Barb's village is right over there. It's just down the river. Just gives me an idea. Let me get some blocks. The chest monster grows. I keep adding. It's like, oh, I need additional space for tough, or I need whatever. So I just uh, keep going out this way. I can't go too much farther this way because I run into the backside of the mountain, which is no good. But once I get down here, I have all this. So I can double the size like overnight. Hi, Wendell. So I've been harvesting snow because I think I want to use some. I've got I've got a fair amount here. I don't think I need all of it, but let's go back up and see what we can get into. So snow isn't the most durable building block in the game. No one's going to argue that a creeper explosion would just obliterate this platform up here, so I have to keep it free of creepers but it's basically free right and I've got Wendell I've got my uh, snow farm downstairs and he gives me all the snowballs I want so it takes a little time but uh, and I think it fits in with the terrain here very nicely so let me do something here i want to go over here i don't need a ton of space for what i'm trying to do here but yeah let's do this and then we'll come up here and go up to that grid line that uh chunk line I don't need quite this much space, but I'm sure I'll come up with other things to do up here. And again, the snow fits, right? It fits the uh, the local terrain. Kind of fits in. Oh. Ah, interesting. Okay. So let's I'm going to go over here. I'm going to go over to that side and make sure that I square it all up nicely. Okay, this is more than enough room for what I'm going to do, but it's going to bug me that it's not square. So we go like four over the chunk on this direction over here. So I'm going to go over here and extend it out this way, make it a little bit more square. And it'll just be more aesthetically pleasing. Okay, that's going to be a little better. I, it's still not square, but I think that's going to be okay. I th it just it looks like there's more space here, so that's what we need. So I got a bunch of birch fence fences here, and yeah, let's put them over here. And we can go blah 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 like this. And I surround the whole thing. And I've got a little fence gate that I can put in here. I need to go make more lanterns. And put them on the fence, like on the other section there. Make sure that this is not going to be an area where any beasties are going to spawn. Because that would be the worst thing in the world. It's painful 
to use. Oh, I don't need all that. Okay, hang on. It's it's a little painful. To use quite that many quite this much iron, but it's all for a good purpose. Let's make a couple more. Yeah. Okay, so put this iron back in there that I've got some nuggets that I can re ingotize. If that's a word. Ingots. Nuggets. Oh. Make another ingot there. Okay. So now I've got a bunch of lanterns. Let's go put them in place. Oh, I thought I was going to sleep when I got up here. Oh, hello, Mr. Zombie. But Vex signed on. I didn't see it. And obviously, this is a good illustration of why I need to light this up because there were zombies up here. So let's get some lights up here and see what we need to do in order to safe all of this. It's going to be more than just a couple of these. And then let me go get my mountaineering shoes. Let's see here. If I do that. That work? That work. All right. One, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. And then there. Oops. Grab my silk touch pick. Plop. And then how many can I fit along here? One, two, three, four, five, and then one. One, two, three, four, five, and then one. What if it's a go other from the side? One, two, three, four, five, and then one. Three, four, oh. I'm gonna put that one there. Okay. Okay, oh, did are these lined up? Oh, that one's lined up. Oh, I got lucky. And then what does that do to the light level out here? Oh, we may be good. Excellent. Okay. Uh, let me go get some mountaineering shoes. Oh, and we have a fence gate here that I can put here. Plop. Not that we really need it, but oh, ice is ready to harvest. Let me go get my mountaineering shoes. I'll be right back. Ow. I know this cave. There's a cow stuck in the cave and oh, and a zombie who is holding the flesh of a brethren. All right. So I've lit up some of this. I put on my leather boots, my mountaineering shoes, so I don't have to worry about the powdered snow. And let me go over on this side. So now we need to go light up this stuff. There we go. And so VexFX has a villager trading hall that he's been building out. Um, it's pretty nice. I've been taking advantage of it. And probably will ultimately prevent me from having to go and building my own. So I can focus on other things to do with villagers. Ow. But. We need to get this all lit up so that oh gosh that shape through the leaves there looked totally like a creeper face to me 
Glad it was not. There we go. And put fence gate or fence back here. Up and we are there. Oh, I guess it was snowing. We've got uh, snow all over the place here. Okay, that won't be a problem. Not for what I'm planning on doing. I close this in case this becomes a, another monster party. But there we go. That's step one. Huh, I should put a door over here. And I can go explore that area a little bit. Jungle, I've been over in that part of the jungle, I'm pretty sure. And I think just past render distance, right there is the is the village. Let me go get a door for this. And... Glad that doesn't cause an avalanche. Okay, so if I take these. I've got some stone bricks. I can go plop, 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 frame in a door and place the door right there. And put the button. Then I need a way out. I need another button. It's amazing it takes a whole thing of stuff. Oh. Ha. Huh. Okay. Let me. Yeah. So we do this. We'll add another. Well, how about we put the door on the outside? And that way I could put like a pressure plate here. Can I do that? The door. Can I put the door there? Then that way I can put a button here. And this still works. Yes, okay. But I could still do a pressure plate. It's not a bad idea. On the inside at least. There we go. Then we just need to do that to get back in. Okay. This should be reasonably secure. Wow. Okay, it's starting to get late. Vex has been sleeping, so let's hopefully he will continue to do so. Um, let me work my way down here. And see what else we have down here. expect there's anything too exciting but you never know yes yeah, this is neat terrain this could be good spot for a build like if I wanted to build a a farm of some sort cactus farm or a sugarcane farm they needed a little bit of space this would be a good spot to come over and do it. Some good water over there. Another spider. Couple creepers. Another spider. You have more string for me, Mr. Spider? Oh, two of them. I don't 
don't think that's too much trouble, is it? Oh, he's still hit me. He's kind of sneaky. More string there. More string there. So that's seven pieces of string I have. Which is nice. Because I haven't built a string farm yet. I have those two surface uh, spider spawners. Keep an eye out. Um, that can be used to build the string farm. But I haven't done that yet. I hear a skeleton. Okay, there's the pumpkin patch. This is the way I came up. Whoa. Hello, creeper. You tried to kill me. Okay, I just have to remember. The waterfall, it's next to the water. Oh, it's over there. Next to the pillar. Next to the waterfall. It's right here is my entrance. Excellent. There we are. Home again safe. <clears throat> okay, there's a slime right down there. I'll have to look at the tape to see where it spawned. I should have been able to see it. I wonder if I should build a little uh, slime farm down here. Just set up a little stand with a, with an iron golem. Let's take him down a peg. Make it a little more manageable. Hi, guys. Oh, there's one up there. Oh, he just he spawned. Oh, I killed a bat completely by accident. Hey, dude. My little ones. Don't despawn on me. And he just despawned it too. So this is, this is a chunk here. It's got to be. This one here, I think, is probably a slime chunk as well. Okay. Hey, little ones. Come here. Give me your balls. Oh, you jumped. Okay. 23 balls. Could be worse. So, yeah, I definitely, I saw two slimes up here. On this area here. So I wonder if I should flatten out this area too. Could be worth it. Four slime chunks in this small area would be really cool. Okay, I think I will. Not right now, but let's... Uh, I'll have to see... Let's see, let's uh, get the glow lichen. I'm pretty sure this is a slime chunk. I'll have to go look on a slime chunk finder and confirm it. Oh, I have to be a little careful. There is lava up above here. Keep seeing lava particles. Oh, 
Oh, interesting. So when I came up here and I was the AFK up here, I was actually standing inside a chunk, potentially. Which would be too close for anything to spawn. Okay. I will confirm that. This looks dark. But this could be a slime chunk too. All right. So I'm, I'm starting to think I'm pretty far down here. This is minus, why minus 53? So I'm at mining level, right? This is this is the level I've been mining at. Lava is, the lava level is one below this. This looks dark. Um, the next block down. So if I dig through here, there's a chance I'll see lava. Um, so I don't want to go a whole lot lower than this. So that, I suspect to be in a slime chunk. These I know are. Okay. So if this one is, I will... I'll flatten out this area, bring this down to the same level as these, and I think I should start building platforms. I should excavate a little bit of space around this. I'll probably have to take down all this. It's a lot of work without a beacon, but... Um, it's it's nice zen activity. All right, well. That's my slime hunting for the day. Successful, somewhat. 23 slime balls. Okay, well, I think I have to stop for now. Um, I will... I've been playing for a little bit and gotten some done. That's good. But still plenty of steps to do in this project. So I will leave it there and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.